A question I received on the GP Llama Facebook page this week was, how do I load the Goldfields track route onto my Element Roam? Well, the Goldfields track route is something I've had my eye on for a while. It's a 210 kilometer mountain bike slash walking trail right near here, split up into a few sections. It turns out the process was pretty simple because the Goldfields track website has the GPX files to download and sync up with your devices. So what I'm gonna run through today is how to sync it up to the Element Roam, which is also exactly the same process for the original Element and the Element Bolt. The first step is to load the Goldfields track website on your mobile device. And you can see the trail there from Bendigo all the way down through Ballarat. And we click on the Eureka track is the one we will sync up today, which is 40 kilometers near home. Um, and we scroll down and we can see the GPX file right there. Clicking once on the GPX file, pops up here asking me to open in the Element Companion app. If you have other apps that are associated with GPX files, you can click on more and select the app from there. But the Wahoo Element app is the one I've got here. Open in Element, we want to import the ride. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to go with that ride name there. So GTMAR 219 Eureka Ride 3. I'll know which one that is. We hit OK. We hit scroll down on there. That will then sync that route up. So if we go to choose a route, wait for it to sync up to the cloud. And there we go, as simple as that. That route is now selectable. And you can see it goes from, well, it ends up in Creswick there, but it starts out near Scott. Scott's Burn. And we can reverse that route by clicking up the top corner there. And you can see the profile go either way. Okay, with the Element Roam now powered on, we can skip across to the routes page and everything is already synced up. Well, it's synced up nine minutes ago. And we can see the Eureka Trail that I've synced up right here. We can select the reverse of that course by clicking on reverse, but if we want to use the same direction as we've synced, we hit select. Okay, now because I'm not near the start, I'm 15 kilometers away, it's asked me do I want to route to the start. I'll hit no on that, but what we can do is go and have a look at the turn-by-turn -turn navigational cues here on the Roam. And scrolling down, scrolling down, all through the turn-by-turn -turn cues that the Roam has generated right through to the Arrive. Awesome, we are good to go. And on this page here, I have the elevation profile shown for the route so I can follow along as I hit that right. You can also put the elevation profile on the map screen through the companion app. So that's it, pretty simple when those GPX files are there to download. It will also work the same if you were to be emailed those files or sent in WhatsApp or iMessage or something like that. As long as you have access to those GPX files, maybe a TCX or a fit file route, same process. Load them in the Element app, it will sync to your routes and you're good to go. Next time you boot up and sync your Element Roam or your Bolt or your Element, they will then be there selectable on the list and away you go. Remembering the Roam has the smarts to give you turn-by-turn -turn navigations with street names as well. So that's an added bonus there for the Roam. The Bolt and the Element will just have your breadcrumb trails unless you've created those routes within a service that exports those queues. So there we are, happy trails. And remember, if you're an event organizer or you're sending out a route to your friends, if you can supply them with a GPX file or a route file, it is happy days. And as easy as that to sync things up. Okay, thanks for watching.